Hey guys, I figured I would make you a video on how to stay organized while I had some free time. Organization is like one of my all-time favorite things to do. I'm really good at it. It makes life a lot easier for me. Some people prefer to be messy, but I get really anxious when I'm messy, so I like to be really organized. Um, it took me a long time to figure out how to be organized as a beach body coach, just because there's so much stuff. Um, this notebook was my very first notebook. I used to write everything in it. Like, everything. I wrote my invites in it. I wrote interest potential people, um, coaches. I wrote notes. I wrote if I was having a challenge, my goals, um, the vital behaviors, what the performance line is good with, like, program-wise. I'm, it just... Very quickly, it got filled. But I still use it because there's stuff in there that, um, sometimes I forget. So, if somebody asks, it's right there. But, I had pulled all my pages from this notebook, um, and made them into several different notebooks. I actually have three of them. And, one is for my coach invite, people that I've invited to the coach opportunity. <clears throat> and so then in there I just write their date and their name and then behind it a little side note I have my follow-ups that I do every week and in there I write the date and their name and if they've responded and then my invites and in here what I did was I just took a few pages and I would write A and then I would skip some pages and I'd write B and then so on and so forth just so I could go all the way through the alphabet and it made inviting a lot 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 easier um, on my phone, I have, oh, I have an app that is called Notepad, because I'm a freak about notes. Um, got a notepad right here. Um, and in there I have, like, I have a little note that actually says Beachbody, and then you click on it, and there's a variety of different little notes that you can click on, and you can check them off. So I remember, you know, every Monday is the National Wake Up Call. And once I listen to that, I cross it off. I remember that every week I need to invite 50 people. Once that's done, I check it off. I remember that Wednesdays are my follow-up days. And when my follow-ups are done, I check that off. Um, Thursdays are payday. Yay! I have that in there, so I remember. Otherwise, I forget. And then I look at my checking account, and then I'm like, Woo! Got extra money! Um... I have to add in there that I need to do um, not just invites for regular challenges, but also coach invites because I'll forget to do that. Um, what else do I have? I also have it's a little crazy. Um, this, I have this little binder. I actually got this binder from my best friend for my birthday last year. So it's perfect that she had gotten this for me. And in here, it's nice because it obviously has just the little, you can see that there's all those little folders. And so I keep my little inserts from when I get Shakeology. And then I scan them and copy them so they're on my, oops, they're on my computer. So then if somebody asks, like, say they lost their calendar for Vanilla Shakeology. <clears throat> I have that insert, and so I can just send it to them instead of having to Google it or ask somebody else for one. Um, I also keep these, and I did the same thing and scanned and copied it. I have those all in different little sleeves in here. I keep all of my order receipts um, because you can write them off when you do your taxes, which is nice because it's a business write-off. Um, I also have another sleeve where I keep, say, I buy gifts for my challengers for challenge prizes. Keep those receipts. Keep them all. If you buy, say, like your notebooks, your binders, your pens, um, maybe highlighters, keep, keep dropping notebooks. Um, keep all of those receipts because you're running a business. Your beach body coach, your CEO, your business owner. So you're able to write all of that off. So make sure that you keep those. And what I do is I, like this one, the other day I sent out um, 
a prize to one of my challengers. And, oh, I'm a hot mess. I just highlighted that it was at the post office, that it was on the 1st of February, at the top corner, so I know what it was. I wrote challenge gift, and then I highlight the amount, so I know how much I spent to mail it out. Um, and in here, I also have my little inserts that you get for whenever you rank advance. Um, I have a weekly planner. So, in here, I write down... Um, I write in there, remember the national wake-up call, to write down when there's team calls, when I get success club points, who they're from, if they ordered just Shakeology or a challenge pack. Um, I write in there, summit, when I message one of my leads. Um, what else do I write in here? I write in here um, whenever I do a follow-up with a lead as well. So this is really nice. Um, I have stuff all over. I have this handy dandy. There's my purple pen. Um, this is my little notebook that I got from my husband for Mother's Day last year. And at first when he got it for me, I was kind of mad because I was like, what am I going to do with that? But I took it to Summit and it was perfect because it closed. It had a spot to hold my pen and it has all of this paper and I filled almost all of it up with notes um oh and it has a little slot it has a little pocket so you can stick stuff there too um just I'm obsessed with notebooks um and then I also have these which this one's obviously filled up and he also got me a labor maker so I wrote that on all of my stuff these are all of my beach body contacts so what I do just to keep myself a little more organized is I write their name in there, and you can see all the colors of the highlights, is I write, say they're a friend, I'm going to write that they're my friend, um, or if they contacted me through Instagram, Facebook, in person, um, through work, I write that in there, I write the date that they signed up with me, their phone number, if they're a club member or not, um, I already said their name, I write down what program they're doing, if they're drinking Shakeology, if they're doing um, any of the supplements, performance line, um, maybe the vitamins, and then I write their goals down below them, and I highlight those so I know and I can help them reach them. And then, what else do I have? On my laptop, I also have um, a Word document. I know a lot of people do like a spreadsheet. Um, I have no idea how to do this on here because I have an HP, um, and I'm not very good. I'm not very tech savvy. So I just did a word pad, and what I do is as soon as I see that I have a new um, customer challenger coach, um, I said I'm a lot. I take their name and I just like highlight it, um, copy and paste. So say I do, would do their first name and their last name, and then below that I would copy and paste their email address, and then below that I would copy and paste um, their coach ID number. Just so um, say I need to access it for them because they don't know where it is or maybe forgot their email that they used, I can go directly in there and I have it all in that one word pad sheet thing on my laptop. So it just helps me out so I can keep them all straight and a little bit more organized. I think that's all of the stuff that I have for being more organized. I didn't even write my, mark my stuff off as I said it. So, for sure, make sure that all of your receipts, you keep them, um, especially your Shakeology. I know a lot of people don't. That is a write-off. Um, pre- and post-workout, if you get sneakers, you can write that off because it's part of your business. You can get, like, I think you can get a pair every quarter of the year. So that's, what, four times a year? You can get a new pair of shoes and write them off. Um, if you have a flight that you have to book, like to go to Summit or to some kind of Super Saturday, you can write that off. If you travel to go meet with somebody, write off the the fuel mileage, um, the food it takes you maybe, or motel. You can write all of that stuff off because it's part of your business. So hopefully some of those tips are helpful. 
Um, if you have questions, post them below and I'd be more than happy to help.